esta última sesión va a comenzar con la intervención de Mogis Kulot. Mogis Kulot es uno de los arquitectos que durante más tiempo ha estado defendiendo la, la ciudad tradicional europea. Pensad que hasta no hace muchos años los centros históricos de las ciudades europeas se demolían eh, sin ningún tipo de consideración. ¿no? Ya no existía la protección. ¿no? Y no se nos ocurre que un centro histórico pueda no estar protegido, pero antes estaban desprotegidos y de hecho se demolían constantemente porque las ideas que recibían la arquitectura iban en contra de su conservación. Una de las personas que más trabajó para que esto se estandarizara, ¿no? el hecho de proteger esa arquitectura tradicional, fue el propio Múnculo, quien además ha, tiene una obra también muy prolífica eh, propia en lo que es la eh, arquitectura tradicional contemporánea. Me ha dicho que iba a hablar todas las lenguas. chanson pour enfants, mais vous êtes tellement nombreux à être si jeunes dans cette salle. Voilà. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for mine, dwelt a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling, Clementine, you are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. You always feel better after a song, no? Not you? <laughs> In the morning in your bathroom? No? You don't do that? No. You are too shy in Spain, no? <laughs> oh, okay, we go. Uh, so, the tower rise from the midsummer fog as like the flying Hollander, the ship of the ancient mariner of Samuel Coleridge. Well, <laughs> well, uh, more or less than 40 years ago, Leon Creer told me, Maurice, if you are not sure of the size of an architectural details or ornament, Make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> It's what we have done. <laughs> so, uh, this is uh, you know, the size of the spin there is uh, three meters high. No, it's, it's a big one. On y va, la suivante, the next one. The plaza building and this tower seen on this model will open in a few days in the new city of Val d'Europe, 30 miles from Paris. The summit of the tower is like a friendship waving. The next, next, yeah. A friendship waving hello to the building of William Gray. You see there on the right. You see? Leon and his friend Kulor, they wave hello. <laughs> uh, it's a next one. It's a mixed use building around an inside courtyard, shops, movie house, apartments, office. Next one. <laughs> the intention of the building 
is to provide a belvedere, belvedere, what's the word? Okay, or come, or, uh, what is a belvedere? Mirador. A what? Mirador. A mirador. Oh, a mirador. From where you could see, the happy few could see the, the city of Val d'Europe. Oh. So, next one. Next one. What? One more? No? Ah, okay. So we, we designed this tower. Uh, um, it's like a mix between a bell tower of the north of France, or of the Flanders, and the aesthetic of an early American skyscraper. It's like a link between old picturesque Europa and emerging or emerging energetic America. Next one. Oh. The second sequence is devoted to the hotel now under construction. It's a 400 rooms hotel. Cuatro cientos, is that? Okay, cuatro cientos. To be used by families coming to visit the Disney Park. It's a cheap hotel, you could stay there for uh, 60 euro with four people. So uh, wait two years or one year and a half and then come to Paris to visit Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you like Mickey Mouse too? <laughs> We all like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> The brief of that competition was to give to the new building a sense of history, roots, <coughs> roots in space and time. So we, we decided to proceed by mythogenesis. Mythogenesis? Is it clear? I'm not sure. So we, we write a, a story of an old abbey, a monastery a sacred wood, a cloister, which crossed the centuries until nowadays, with addition of buildings until the French Revolution, when the church of the Abbey was destroyed and used as a quarry. So the new hotel seems to be an old abbey, reuse, a sense of time, Uh, destiny, inscription among generations of builders, and it will uh, open in less than one year, and it's built, as you could see, next one. Oh, no, this is the story of the, of the project. You know, we, we use the plan of an old abbey, and this is the final project as it will be built. Before, and one, go, go on, okay, no, no, I'm sorry, the next one, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, so we use a, a view of a, a sacred wood on the top, an old monastery there, next one, gotcha. and so we, we, we show how this building uh, had, uh, had gone with uh, A change with times. Huh? Hmm? So we, 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 we use well, we, we use the story of an, an, an abbey that never existed there to have uh, to give to our project some roots. We always work like, like this, you know. We do uh, false so it, the building become more realistic. Huh? We, 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 we just lie, you know, we lie all the time. <laughs> And uh, what could be life if you don't lie? A nightmare, a nightmare. Huh? So we lie all the time. And we enjoy so much lying. <laughs> next, uh, next view. So we use uh, that building, you see the building on, 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 the, on, the, on the second floor that. Huh? To, to, to build the main facade 
because uh, an hotel and a monastery is more or less the same. You know, people, a lot of people living in small rooms, more or less the same program. Next one. So this is the rendering of the hotel. You could see it from the garden and uh, the, the the structure in the in the front of you. It's a place where people will will have the the early early uh, morning breakfast. One thousand and four hundred people every morning. A lot of crunch and noise, huh? In that place, but they will look a nice paysage. Voilà. This is the cons we, co we, 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 we use concrete huh, to build the building. We don't use the old materials. So we, uh, as I told you, we, it's false. So we, we use uh, material uh, with the cheapest ones that you could use. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. OK, it's n now it's over. We just show some of our project with, uh, as they say in the TV, no comments. You remember on the show TV, no? You don't look TV, no, not too much. No, oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we go, next one, next one. They are all under construction now, next one. This is Art Deco. We do Art Deco building because I love Art Deco as a, a, a I, I, I am born in 1900, 1900. I am uh, a little bit old, but you don't see it, no? <laughs> uh, you don't see I'm uh, more than 100. <laughs> 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 yeah. well, uh, next one. The model. Next one. A new competition we have done uh, this week. Next one. Oh, I don't know what is that one. Okay, go on. I don't remember what it was. Ah, yeah. It's the, it's the last project. Next one. Now this is the competition. Next one. Up, go. It's a mix between uh, neo Mayan style. You like this style too, Neo Maya? They use it in the Spanish exhibition in Sevilla in 1930. They have done an amazing Mayan pavilion, still there. So uh, it's a little bit Mayan, not too much. Next one. Next one. Next one. No more? Next one. Okay, we go. Another project, no? Yeah. Next one. You don't see the project in the city. You see it fit exactly in the city. You, you don't even see wh wh where it is. We just like that, that nobody see our work. We are like the, the men that nobody see. Invisible men, invisible architect. No one see us. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Uh, a glimpse of Greek architecture in France. Next one. And this is the north of France, uh, Beguinage. Next one. Next one. one. You see, the details are quite, quite well done, huh? No? No? It's not so easy to do that, huh? Next one. It's a cheap building, huh? This is social housing. Next one. Before. After. Good. Huh? Before. Next one. No, no. Uh, before and after. Good. Huh? Okay, it's all for. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>